So I've just checked out my hostel and I got the guy at reception to give me a five hour like <laughs> essentials of Florence. So he took my map and he basically drew this huge route for me to do today. I was like, cool, that's amazing, thank you so much. So let us begin with uh, our little walk. <laughs> well, a <our> big walk. <laughs> If you watched my vlog yesterday, uh, you will have already seen this. I said that it was called a Battista Row, but that's actually that little building over there. But this big one is called the Duomo, and it's like the biggest church ever. So it's my sister's birthday today, and I've just found this awesome shot where this lady will like embroider any name on anything. So I thought I'd get her a baking hat. <laughs> <laughs> that is super cool. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> so what I'm gathering is that Florence, or Firenze in Italian, <laughs> is known for or specialises in the creation of leather. Uh, there's like loads and loads of leather shops selling like lovely bags and handmade goodies. So. I guess that's what Florence is really about, leather. So what I believe we're at now is the Della Signoria. The thing with this map, unlike my one in Rome, is Rome explained to me what the things were and this one is not. It looks like some sort of dungeon, I would say. Yeah, let's go with dungeon. <laughs> oh no, it's a museum. It's a museum. Uh, I don't know what of though. <laughs> buildings have like information plaques to say like what's in it why would you want to go here because without internet I'm like I don't know I have a feeling from the pictures of that tower I was just in that that's where the birth of Venus painting is but there's a huge queue to get in again obviously I would love to go and see it but I just I really can't without internet it's so sad like this isn't telling me outside of the building wasn't telling me the only way I'd find out if I paid 20 euros to go in and then be like oh this is what I've come to see Oh yeah, it's annoying. Ooh, that looks peaceful. I'm very jealous. Basically, I just stopped in a cafe to get some water and ended up WhatsApping my beautiful friend Lottie because she actually recommended for me to come to Florence. So I was just like, ah, I'm in Florence kind of thing. Basically, we worked out that the statue that I saw earlier, I'll pop it here so you know which one I mean, that is not the real one of that statue. That's just a copy. And she was like, Harriet, do yourself a favor. She didn't say this, but I'm, I'm exaggerating. Harriet, you have to, no, no, she did say this. You have to go and see David. She said, go and see the real version of the statue because the copy is the one that I saw. And then the real one is kind of like maybe a mile away she said I went when I was like I think she was on a school trip here she was like I went and I got really emotional and it's really really incredible and you have to go and see it so I was like right okay I'll, I'll take your word for it so I'm just on my way up there now to go and see the real David which she's taught me a little bit about but I'll explain that when I kind of like go up there <laughs> So this is the food market that the receptionist at my hostel told me about. That is a proper Italian pizza. Mmm, yum. Okay, onwards with my mission. I'm starting to panic about time, so I'm trotting fast. David, this way. <laughs> okay, I've arrived. There's a bit of a queue, but not too long at all, so I will join it. I think I have time. I've made it in, but I've got to be quite quick, so I'm going to dash around. <laughs> there he is, there's David. What Lottie taught me is that his body is completely disproportionate. If like if he was real human size, his hands and face would be far too big. But apparently Michelangelo accentuated it on purpose. 
So it says that what happened was there was a big block of marble abandoned outside a cathedral in Florence. And so Michelangelo was like, look, I want to sculpt a young hero into it. And then the cathedral was like, yep, okay, gave him permission. And thus David was born. Well, that was really interesting. I'm really glad I went. Thank you for the recommendation, Lottie. Okay, it's about time for me to leave Florence. I'm just heading back to my hostel now to pick up my rucksack and then I've got to rush to the station. Oh wait, Lottie also told me I had to get an ice cream. Oh my god, I'm so hot. This bag is getting ridiculous. <sighs> Milan. I literally slept for that whole journey and now I feel so gross. I need to find my hostel and have a cold shower. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> hey guys, it's a bit later now. It's nine o'clock. Um, I'm all settled into my hostel, made friends with a German girl in my room who is sweet. I'm just popping up for some dinner. Basically, I've been faffing around because I tried to book my reservation on the train from Milan to Paris for um, Sunday. But the woman was like, there literally isn't space until Tuesday. And I'm like, no, not again. So I'm trying to work out what I'm gonna do. It looks like I might just be flying straight home from Milan instead of going to Paris. So that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Thank you for watching this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see tomorrow, my last day. And yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.